In today's video, I want to go over the Uberlieben Tenderwick and Billow. This thing's pretty cool, but before we get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, TheBugOutBunker.com. They're a small American-owned online retail shop offering high-quality emergency preparedness and outdoor supplies. Specializing in pre-packed bug out bags, natural disaster preparedness kits, camping gear, and so much more. Follow the link in the description below and use the code that I've also placed in the description to get a one-time discount of 15% off pre-packed bug out bags and natural disaster preparedness kit. Hurry, this offer only lasts for a couple of more weeks. Remember, that's the bugoutbunker.com, survival at its fittest. Now using this tender wick is pretty easy. All it is is hemp rope that is infused with paraffin wax and probably some other chemicals, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to Put this thing through this metal tube right here and this is going to allow you to snuff it out. I've done a video on how to make one of these with PVC pipe and regular manila rope but today we're going to use the commercial product. I've used it a few times but I'm going to demonstrate how to do this and what is it good for in the future. Just remember this tube right here is not a ferro rod it is made of metal. So but anyway it's hexagonal and you can slide your rope right up through the middle of it right here. Essentially, this is a bushcraft match. So you're going to slide your rope up through here like this. You're going to light it and then you can hold it and start your fire and it will stay lit for a long time. Now, in order to get this thing lit, we have to prepare the end. Let me show you how you do that. You want to take your rope and slide it through the tube about a half inch. And then you want to just work it back and forth on a piece of rod or hit it a couple of times with your knife or something like that. Something to smooth it out and just to fray it up. You're trying to get it frayed and just create more surface area to catch a spark. We got it all frayed up and now we're going to throw a spark on it like this dude. All right, we're gonna use our ferro rod and shouldn't have a problem lighting this thing. There we go. One quick strike and it's all it said. Now this thing is essentially a match. Now you can use this to light your tinder or whatever it is that you want to catch on fire to start your fire. Essentially all you got to do now to snuff this thing out is just slide that rope back in here like that. Now it comes in this handy little tin and you could roll it up, stick it up in there and just slide the lid on just like that. And you could reuse this tin often. You can use it to make a bunch of char cloth out of it or to store fire tender and stuff like that in there. And it fits very conveniently in a cargo pocket or in your bag or something easily. It is very easily transportable. In a real life situation, I'm probably not going to carry this tender wick with me constantly in every situation, but I will carry the ferro rod. I've done several videos on ferro rods. I did a video recently on explaining fire, how fire works and how to use ferro rods. I even done a whole video on the explanation of ferro rods. Now, the, the best thing about ferro rods is that they are 100% waterproof and as long as you don't lose it, they're pretty much guaranteed to start you a fire. If you practice with it, you can make a fire with tons of different materials. Now this ferro rod is rated for over 20,000 strikes. You could probably start close to 10,000 fires with it. Uh, that's a lot of fires. But this thing is, this is a, a finite thing. This thing is only going to be used so many times before it's useless. Like I said, the tender wick and billow is pretty cool. Um, but that's to me, all what it really is, is just pretty cool. It's a little handy little gadget. Realistically, the ferro rod is going to be everything that I take with me in the woods and that and a lighter. I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to take a ferro rod and I'm going to start plenty of fires. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like, follow, and share. I'll see you next time. God bless you.